What's up, everybody? It's your boy Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. So, New Mobile sent me out the new G3 for review, right? But they sent me out the Android Go phone also for review, right? And they call it the G1. So, we're going to unbox this and see what it's all about because it comes in a very good $100 price point and is on the Android Go program. So, we're going to see what it's all about. Get your popcorn ready. It's a beautiful box. Wow. And follow me on this journey. Let's go. So before I start this video, I want to explain exactly what the Android Go program is so it won't be no confusion. The Android Go program is designed to give the user a very good experience with a light version of Android. Also in the app store, you will see what's called Go apps. These are also light versions of the app that's running on top of the device to give the user a pretty good experience. Now, when it comes down to the specs, the specs will be low in spec along with the price point at a $100 price point and below, but it's designed to run very well because it's less resource intensive. Also, you will see a lot of different avenues, a lot of different things along with the uh, Android Go program. So that's why I wanted to explain this before I start this video, because a lot of people may not understand the Android Go program and no, you cannot play PUBG on Android Go devices. So let's go on the start with the video. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I have the G1 here by New Mobile and uh, let's go to the unboxing to see what it's all about. This is a unique uh, device here because it's on the Android Go program which gives you pretty low in specs but it's spec to run pretty good because it doesn't have all that high intensive resources that's running in the background. So as we take it out of the box, we got the device here. Uh, in the box, which is pretty amazing for a hundred dollar phone, new mobile gives you a lot of goodies in the box. You get a case in the box. Boom. Nice. So you get a whole case in the box. Nice little rubber uh, TPU. Also in the box, which is so strange that uh, we have these companies that does this, but uh, the flagship companies don't do it. This is a glass screen protector that comes in the box. So not only do you get a case, but a glass screen protector in the box. That's a good look. Good looking out, New Mobile, for doing this here. For a $100 phone, you come all set. Also, you get your quick start guide and you get your charger and charging cable, which is micro USB. Okay, so no USB Type-C, so you get micro USB with this one. All right, so let's go to get to the meat of the show. All right, guys, so here's the device. And when we take it out of the package, uh, it's a nice chunky device, pretty heavy, have a huge battery that's inside here, fingerprint scanner, eight megapixel camera, all the bells and whistles. Let's go to take this off. All right, and we already saw everything in the box. Let's power this on and let's talk about the specs. You got a 5.7 inch 720p display. You got an MT processor with one gig of RAM. Uh, you also got 16 gigs of internal storage complemented by SD card support. You got eight megapixel camera on the back, five megapixel camera on the front. You got 18 by nine aspect ratio. So at the top here, you got 3.5 millimeter headphone jack along with your charging port, right? At the bottom here, look pretty clean here. Uh, you do have a mic. Also on the side here, you got your body rock up and down along with a power button. And on this side, it's pretty clean. So let's go on and take a look at this device. It's nice and chunky. You got your speaker grill here at the back. You got your new uh, sign here, all plastic here. Looks pretty nice. All right, so removing the back, you're greeted with the huge 5,000 milliamp battery, fingerprint scanner, all the bells and whistles. You got do SIM setup here, also with SD card support. So you have that and the battery is not removable, but it is huge. Look how huge that battery is in here. 
All right, so definitely could get a few days of better life with this. All right. Boom, look at that. It's pretty. All right, 100 bucks. Let me go ahead and set it up so we can go through the OS. All right, so I got everything booted up. I got uh, all my information in. So let's go ahead and check out the OS. As you can see, it looks pretty stock Android. No apps on here. And you have what's called the Light Go apps aboard this device. Uh, and as you swipe here, left and right, there's pretty much nothing on there. All right, I do have some stuff that's downloading. So let's go and take a look at it. As you can see, bare bones. Let's go and check into the settings. All right, and let's go into the settings. And we are running Android 8.1. Roll this down a little bit because we it's pretty bright as you can see. All right, so we're running Android uh, 8.1. All right. So again, a hundred bucks, you get a case with it. Fingerprint scanner. Let's go ahead and check out the fingerprint scanner real quick. All right. Yes, it works. All right. Again, a hundred bucks. You don't expect being the fastest. There it is. So it does work. All right. So we we'll open it up the camera. You have picture and video. All right. And let's take a quick picture. All right, so that's the picture here. Blow it up. Not bad, but for a hundred bucks, you're not going to get the latest and greatest, but this will get the job done with your Go apps aboard here. Overall, I'm downloading a lot of stuff right now. This is what you get for a hundred bucks. You get a pretty decent, chunky looking device, which is not bad, right? You got a fingerprint scan. You got a 720p display. Uh, you get an MT processor. You get all the bells and whistles as far as the Go program. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Go program and all this glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.